Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chelsea, better known as Smiley Shanae here on YouTube. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a first impression slash demonstration slash review on the Furidin Steam Hair Straightener. So this is how it looks in the box. I haven't opened it yet. Um, and I found this on Amazon. I actually saw um, Natural Nisi try out the L'Oreal Steam Hair Straightener, um, but that one is super expensive. Like, So I went on Amazon to try to see if I could find a similar product for you know, a more affordable price. And I came across this one. So I bought this myself. This is not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to see if it works. I did read some of the Amazon reviews and some reviews had pictures. And I tried to look at the pictures of people who had a similar hair type as me. And they actually got some pretty good results. So I'm excited to see what this can do for my hair. Now to prep my hair, it has been blow dried last night. If you'd like to see how I blow out my hair, I use the Revlon brush blow dryer. And if you want to see that, I'll have a card up here and a link down below. So my hair was in, after I blow dried my hair, I put my hair in four sections and I uh, plaited my hair in four sections and I just slept overnight. And this is my hair, it's pretty much a, a braid out as I took the plaits out. For my heat protectant last night, I used the Tresemme with Marula Oil Keratin Smooth. This one is um, one I'm trying out. I never tried the Tresemme heat protectant before, but this is how it looks. And I bought this on Amazon, I think about $5.99. So yeah. And the only thing I have on my hair, it is my Proclaim Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner, the Tresemme Heat Protectant, and some coconut oil. That's all I have in my hair, and I'm only going to be using a little bit more of the heat protectant before I start straightening my hair. So if you like to see this demonstration, then just keep on watching. Okay, so when I first open up the box, this is what I see. They have a quick using guide, which helps you, okay, which goes over the steamer and how um, the water goes in. It also goes over the temperature, the LCD screen. Inside, I see the hair straightener. Ooh, and I also, ooh, I also get some cool hair clips. Ooh, I always wanted some of these, awesome. So. I get two hair clips, the actual steamer. Okay, I also get a little container, plastic container to pour the water in. And I also get a rectal comb. Looks like something else is in here. This is, I guess this is like a guide. Yeah, this is like the guide for the instructions how everything works, so pretty cool.
Okay guys, so I am done straightening my hair with the steam hair straightener. And overall, it did a pretty good job. I did have to stop halfway because I had somewhere to go. So I went out with the back um, in a ponytail and the rest twisted in the front going back and I had a head on. So the front part of my hair is more straight than the back part of my hair. Again, because I had my hair in a ponytail, so you'll probably see the indentation of the ponytail. Um, and it did get a little fuller in the back from being outside because it is rainy outside. But I mean, other than that, I feel like it did a pretty good job. I feel like with the steam, my hair is a lot softer. Um, as far as the shine, I feel like it's the same amount of shine that I would normally get with my chi flat iron. Um, and I did put some coconut oil on my hair to add a little bit more shine. Um, but it wasn't like a noticeable difference in shine because my hair is normally a little shinier when it's straightened. Um, but yeah, I mean, my hair feels good. The part that I don't like is that it gets your roots straight, but not as, as not, it doesn't get my roots as straight as my chi does, I guess because the combs, it just can't get to the root root of my hair. Like it does get my roots straight, but it's just, if I were to run a small tooth comb through my hair, I would, my comb will still get caught at my roots in some areas. It's because some parts, it just didn't reach. So that's the only part of it I don't like, but I mean, it did a pretty good job. We'll see how long it lasts. I, I normally leave my hair straight for about a week and a half to two weeks. So we will see. But as far as this goes, I would say if you want to give it a try, you can go ahead and give it a try. I'll leave the specs of it down below, the price down below of everything. So. Yeah, my hair is growing back. I did cut the front part of my hair, the rest of the heat damage that I had off my hair. So my hair is a little bit shorter in the front than what it normally is, but it's actually growing back a lot. It actually grew back a lot since I cut it. So that's awesome. And yeah, I think that concludes this. Um, oh, at first I wanna say, I had to unplug the flat iron two times because um, I was trying to read on the directions how I can see the steam in a flat iron before I actually um, put the steam, put it on my hair. I wanted to like see the steam come out and it wasn't doing that. So I had to take the water reservoir out, uh, kind of like clean the area with the Q-tip and keep trying to get the steam to come out because I, I wanted to see the steam come out first. But I could only notice the steam working when it was actually running through my hair. So I don't know if it has a detector to know that when hair is on the flat iron, then the steam comes out. But if you just close it, waiting on the steam to come out, it's not gonna do it. That's the only part of it I wish I could see where the steam before I put it on my hair, but I did notice the steam when it was running through my hair. So yes, it worked and yeah. It's not as bone straight as I normally have it. I flat ironed my hair on uh, 430 degrees, which is higher than what I normally use, but the 410 wasn't it wasn't getting my hair as straight as I like it to be, and the 430 still wasn't as straight as I like it to be. So I don't know if the plates are different between this and the chi, but the chi gets my hair straight at a much lower temperature, I think 370. My hair is pretty much bone straight on, with my chi. And this one I had to use 430 degrees and it's still not as straight as I would like it to be. But again, it could be the humidity outside making it, you know, not be as straight. This pretty much concludes my um, first impression review of the Ferritin Steam Hair Straightener. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it and like it. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and press the subscribe button to be notified when I do upload a new video and also press the bell to get an email when I upload. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a fabulous day.